Today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that can be considered quite controversial in today's post third wave feminism world. It's about sex. I came across this concept a couple of weeks ago and it really stuck with me. The concept is this, every time you have sex or rather orgasm with someone, your soul splits in half and stays with them. That means that when or if you lost your virginity, half of your soul went to that person. By the second person, you'd have a quarter of the original left. And you don't need to be the kind of person who believes in souls or spirituality. But if you take it literally, to me, the soul represents a kind of purity and innocence. These things are so rare in today's world. I grew up in London where it felt like sex was just everywhere. It was like a status symbol and everyone was rushing to lose their virginities first. Sorry, lighting change, but um... Yeah, looking back on it, this makes me so, so sad. In my feminist school, we were taught that having lots of sex was empowering, that we should never shame people for the amount of sex partners that they'd had, and that sex should be almost clinical in the way that you have to ask for consent, STD status, protection, etc. I'm not necessarily against any of these things, but I am against the over clinicalization clinicization the whatever of sex sex is and always has been a spiritual experience the idea of the soul being split through sex or love dates back to the greek era this is a concept i really love as it's just so beautiful listen to this in the symposium plato writes that human beings were created originally with four arms four legs and two faces but Zeus feared their power, so he split them in half, leaving them to roam the earth in search for their other half for their whole lives. It's just a story, but I do think it's really beautiful. It's true that we do form soul or psychological ties to the people that we have sex with. And it just makes sense that the more people you have it with, the less you value it. And it's proven that the more sexual partners you have earlier on in life, the more likely you are to cheat or be cheated on later on. I'm so, so glad I never went through like a hoe phase because um, I know I definitely would have regretted it now. Any reason I can think of now to have sex with strangers just seems shallow and egotistical and self-serving to me. Sex should be a union of two souls where trust and bonding is formed and not just two people using the other person's body for gratification. When you remember that sex is a spiritual experience, you'll value it so much more. The sexual energy and power that you have is not something that should be shared with just anyone, especially since they'll stay with you for life. Reject the idea that it's empowering not to care about who you have sex with. What really gives you power is not giving in to the people who say that you should give up your remaining purity and innocence for sexual gratification. A big part of the power of feminine energy is the ability to either give or withhold their sexual energy. And this of course complements the masculine perfectly. Who you share your soul with should be well thought out and built on a foundation of trust. Don't just have it with anyone. Anyways, love you. Bye.